Hi. Um, we're standing here in a primary rainforest in the Brazilian Amazon. Primary rainforest means basically it has it, it's an old growth forest, um, very biodiverse. Um, as we come at the end of this series on forest crime and how to stop and prevent forest crime, you may wonder maybe, yeah, but if you stop at one place, it would they will go to another. So, what's the real effect? Well, in criminology and crime science, we call this crime displacement. You know that crime will move to another place if it becomes more difficult at, at one place. So the question is, is there crime displacement with regard to forest crime? We know from the scientific literature that crime displacement is never 100 percent, because criminals commit crimes at certain places because that place has certain advantages for them. It's easier there. There's maybe less, there's less surveillance, there's the police is very far, there's no one around, so that's why they do it there. So if you stop at this one place, yes, they will go to another place, but it will never be again 100%. Um, and it's very important with forest crimes, if you stop at it one place, that means that, that that forest remains intact, you know, primary rainforest, which is so biodiverse. And if you talk about logging, the loggers always go after the big trees. So that has a huge impact on the, on the ecosystem, on the forest, on, on, on the animals and the people that live in the forest. So stopping that is really important for the, for the preservation of, of, of the rainforest and, and the, the way people live in the forest with the forest, respecting the forest. So this is the important lesson from criminology and also from forest crime. Crime displacement is never 100%. So it is an effective strategy to preserve forests and to, to preserve the biodiversity and the coexistence of people with forests.